everybody, Chris Bates here, Grower Talks Magazine at American Talkie, where every year OHP puts in a display to show different uh, PGR techniques and regimes and experiments. And uh, this year they've got Dr. Jim Barrett, University of Florida. Go Gators. Go Gators. My alma mater. And he's got something special he's going to talk about using Augeo on poinsettias. Describe what you've been uh, experimenting with. Chris, um, what we're looking at on poinsettias is, is doing a chemical pinched or non-pinched poinsettia program that looks like a pinched plant or is similar to a pinched plant. And so we've done, this is three years of work, and we've done uh, several different varieties. And the variety that it works on best is Prestige. You there, said it only works on some varieties, right? There's a lot of variety variation. It's, it's got to be a little bit difficult. It can't be that easy. So there is a lot of variation in varieties. It works best on Prestige. It works very well on Prestige. And what we're looking at is making an application at seven to ten days after planting a rooted cutting and then not pinching the plants at all. And if we can look over here, I think from the technical standpoint, are we going to be able to see this? And so these are prestige plants. This is a non-pinched plant, one plant per pot. And you can see the typical elongation that occurs with the main stem. That is a plant that was pinched seven days after planting. This is a plant that we treated with Agio one time. There is a difference between the pinched and the non-pinched plant, but the non-pinched plant is a very acceptable plan, I think, for mass market situations. Uh, so we can save the labor of producing that plant. Now in that case, there have been no other growth regulators used, and I think the grower would use the PGRs to control size a little bit. So that's what we're going after with this non-pinched poinsettia program. Are you working with some growers to put it more out in the field and really test it this year? Yes, there are several growers this year because of the interest in it and the savings of the labor of pinching that will be trying this program this year. Again, there's a lot of variation in varieties, and it definitely works on prestige. Is it labeled for this? Um, now, you would have to, <laughs> yes. As I, my understanding is, it points out is currently are not on the label, but there is wording on the label that allows, legally allows experimentation. If it weren't legal, we could not be talking about it. And so uh, for a grower who might want to test it in their own greenhouse this uh, this summer on poinsettias, yes. any quick recommendations? You said this summer. Are you talking about for their fall program or just summer testing? No, no, no. For, for 2012 poinsettias. Either. Okay. My recommendation would be to uh, plant at the same time, rooted cutting, and then make the application 800 parts per million at uh, about seven days, 10 days after planting, and then not pinch. Then use... Uh, B9, Cell, Bonsai, whatever the PGR for size control is that they would normally use. And don't go over 800 ppm or you'll fry the heck out of the darn things, right? Yeah, so 1,600 parts per million, 800 twice, uh, you will ruin them. Don't do it. All right. Thank you, Jim. We appreciate it. Thanks, Chris. He's always at work doing something with PGRs to help you guys do a better job producing finished crops. Go Gators. Go Gators. <laughs>